Facebook is like routine thing for many of us now. Good or bad, we share everything with Facebook. This social media giant influences a big part of our life, and ultimately the society. So let's check out how Facebook achieved the non-replaceable place on the grand stage of the social media. Facebook is an American online social media and social networking service owned by Meta Platforms. Founded in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg with fellow Harvard College students and roommates, its name comes from the Facebook directories often given to American university students. Zuckerberg built a website called FaceMash in 2003 while attending Harvard University. The simple idea that no one know we're going to change the lives. The site was comparable to Hot or Not and used photos compiled from the online Facebooks of nine houses, placing two next to each other at a time and asking users to choose the hotter person. FaceMash attracted 450 visitors and 22,000 photo views in its first four hours. The site was sent to several campus group listers, but was shut down a few days later by Harvard administration. Zuckerberg faced expulsion and was charged with breaching security, violating copyrights, and violating individual privacy. Ultimately, the charges were dropped, and Zuckerberg was ready for his new venture. In January 2004, Zuckerberg coded a new website, known as the Facebook, inspired by a crimson editorial about FaceMash, stating it is clear that the technology needed to create a centralized website is readily available. The benefits are many. Zuckerberg met with Harvard student Eduardo Saverin, and each of them agreed to invest $1,000 in the site. On February 4, 2004, Zuckerberg launched the Facebook, originally located at thefacebook.com. Membership was initially limited to Harvard students, gradually expanding to other North American universities, and since 2006, anyone over 13 years old. As of 2020, Facebook claimed 2.8 billion monthly active users and ranked seventh in global internet usage. It was the most downloaded mobile app of the 2010, but the start of Facebook was not that smooth. Six days after the site launched, Harvard seniors Cameron Winklevoss, Tyler Winklevoss, and Divya Narendra accused Zuckerberg of intentionally misleading them into believing that he would help them build a social network called HarvardConnection.com. They claimed that he was instead using their ideas to build a competing product. The three complained to the Crimson and the newspaper began an investigation. They later sued Zuckerberg, settling in 2008 for 1.2 million shares worth $300 million at Facebook's IPO. Facebook's initial public offering came on May 17, 2012, at a share price of US $38. The company was valued at $104 billion, the largest valuation to that date, making Mark a youngest self-made billionaire. From here, the Facebook's run was unstoppable. After acquiring Onavo in 2013, Facebook used its Onavo Protect, a virtual private network app to collect information on users' web traffic and app usage. This allowed Facebook to monitor its competitors' performance and motivated Facebook to acquire WhatsApp in 2014. On March 20, 2014, Facebook announced a new open-source programming language called Hack. Before public release, a large portion of Facebook was already running and battle-tested using the new language. Facebook had, in 2011, become the second most accessed website in the U.S. behind Google. The highest number of Facebook users as of October 2018 are from India and the United States, followed by Indonesia, Brazil, and Mexico. In many countries, the social networking sites and mobile apps have been blocked temporarily or permanently, including China, Iran, Vietnam, Pakistan, Syria, and North Korea. That's it for today. Please like the video and subscribe the channel if you find value in this video, and comment down your views about Facebook.